Singapore. Is this an island? City? Or a country? Singapore is one of the three surviving city-states in the world. A land with futuristic marvels and sky-kissing buildings, Singapore is one step ahead. Singapore consists of 63 islands, including the main island, Pulau Ajong. Singapore is an anglicization of the Malay name for the country, Singapura with meaning Lion City. The country is known for its transition from a developing to a developed one in a single generation. Singapore has always been the heaven for backpackers and travelers. Things to do in Singapore The Marina Bay Marina Bay is a good example of how Singapore has come to be one of the world's most luxurious travel destinations. Marina Bay Sands Complex is the focal point of the bay neighboring to the Science Museum, Casino, and various shopping, dining and nightlife options. The light show at 8 p.m., which illuminates the water as well as several icon landmarks is a feast to the visitors. Merlion Park the Merlion is a mythical creature with a lion's head and the body of a fish. The fish's body represents their humble begins as a small fishing village and the lion's head from the original name, Singapura. The original Merlion structure measures 8.6 meters tall and spouts water from its mouth and a Merlion cub is located near the original statue. Singapore Flyer The Flyer Observation Wheel was the tallest Ferris wheel in the world. The flyer is mounted with 28 air-conditioned capsules, each one the size of a bus, capable of holding 28 passengers. The scenic flight on the flyer offers you 360 degrees views of Singapore and glimpses of Indonesia and Malaysia. Opening hours, daily from 8.30 am to 10.30 pm with a fee starting from 15 to 30 or Singapore dollar. Gardens by the Bay Gardens by the Bay is a huge, colorful, futuristic park in the Bay Area of Singapore. The famous super tree structures offer an impressive skywalk and seashell-shaped greenhouses recreate mountain climates. This horticultural heaven brings plants to life in a way you have never seen before. Opening hours are from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. with a ticket charge of 15 to 28 Singapore dollar. Jurong Bird Park this is the Asia's largest bird paradise and a tourist attraction in Singapore. It contains of a haven for close to 3,500 birds across 400 species of which 20% are threatened. Enjoy close interactions with the birds at daily feeding sessions and show-stopping antics in exciting bird shows. The ticket cost is from 16 to 39 Singapore dollar. Sentosa Island Sentosa Island is a man-made island that was built for fun and recreation. The many attractions on offer at Sentosa include the Tiger Sky Tower, Singapore Butterfly and Insect Kingdom, and one of the largest collections of aquatic animals in the world, Sea Aquarium. The 12-minute cable car ride from Vivo City to Sentosa Island has the added bonus of providing astounding panoramic views. Singapore Botanic Gardens Singapore's first UNESCO World Heritage Site, this garden treasures rare and endemic species of exotic flora. The attractions include the National Orchid Garden, the Ginger Garden, and the Evolution Garden. With over 60,000 colorful orchids, the garden's colors keep changing round the year. National Museum of Singapore the National Museum is the largest and oldest museum in Singapore dating back to 1849. Focused on the history and culture of Singapore, the museum is a multi-sensory experience of Singapore's past. Opening hours are from R from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. costing $4 to $7. The Art Science Museum The Art Science Museum is the world's first art science museum in the shape of lotus flower in bloom. 
the museum is destination for major international touring exhibitions. A place of great interest for children and adults, a visit here is both entertaining and educational. Clark Key Clark Key consisting of a colorful restaurants, theme bars, retail stores, and recreation outlets. As a vibrant and attractive destination, it is certainly a great nightlife location in Singapore. Best time to visit Singapore. February to April are the months between the summers and winters are quite pleasant for plenty of outdoor activities. How to reach Singapore? By air. There are eight airports in Singapore, but Changi Airport is the one of Asia's best connection hub for international aviation. Mostly all major international airlines fly into Singapore landing at the best airport in the world. By ship. Though Singapore is an island country, it easily serves as a base for many cruises across Southeast Asia. Connecting airport to city. MRT trains and public buses with a cost of 1.7 Singapore dollar from 5.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. connecting airport to city. The airport shuttle buses with a cost of 9 Singapore dollar, 24 hours a day. Airport taxis are bit expensive with a cost of 20 Singapore dollar and at night the price will vary. Visa procedures and applications. All visitors to Singapore must meet the following entry requirements. Valid travel document with a minimum validity of 6 months at the time of departure. Confirmed onward or return tickets, if applicable. Entry facilities, including visas, to the next destination. Most Western nationalities do not require a visa, you will get issued 14 or 30 days on arrival but nationals from some countries will need to organize a visa in advance. Check the link in description to find your status. Check the link at description for finding the Singapore embassies in your country to apply your visa. You'll be issued with an embarkation card on arrival, don't lose this as you will need to surrender it on departure. Accommodation and food. Most visitors opt to stay in one of the main central areas towards the south of the island. Accommodation in Singapore is bit expensive. A bunk bed in a crowded hostel dorm costs 20 Singapore dollar or more. Singapore is blessed with some of the best food courts, food halls, and hawker street stalls. Enjoying the street food is a quintessential part of experiencing Singapore costing from 5 Singapore dollar. Mode of transportation. Tries Haas Pulled by a person on foot, cycle rickshaws, or tries Haas are human powered by pedaling. Always agree on the fare beforehand, expect to pay 40 Singapore dollar for half an hour. MRT Trains The best way to get around Singapore is via its LRT and MRT underground network lines that stretch across the entire city. Visitors to Singapore can use the Singapore Tourist Pass, which offers all-day unlimited travel on MRT and LRT trains. Taxi Taxi cabs here are metered, but there may be surcharges depending on when, where, and which company's taxi you board. If you wish to book a cab, you can call a common taxi booking numbers. Public Bus Singapore's bus service is clean, efficient, and regular, with fare of 1 to 2.10 Singapore dollar. Download the SG Buses smartphone app, which will give you real-time bus arrivals. By boat. To visit the southern islands of Singapore from the Marina South Pier. There are regular bumboat services from Changi Point Ferry Terminal to Pulau Yuban at a cost of 3 Singapore dollar. Bike hire. 
Bike sharing platforms are extremely popular costing 7 Singapore dollar per day by Mobike and Evo. Easy Link Card This card costs 12 Singapore dollar and can be used on the LRT and MRT trains, along with the excellent public bus system. Extra care for avoiding fines the number one reason to get fined in Singapore is for not using marked crosswalks. Travelers must declare all tobacco products brought into the country or a pay 200 Singapore dollar fine. Riding a bike on pedestrian only paths, especially near the river, is forbidden. Chewing gum, snacks, and drinks are not permitted on the MRT trains or public transportation. Electronic cigarettes and vaping are illegal. Technically, failing to flush a public toilet is illegal. Spitting will get you a big fine in Singapore. Feeding pigeons in the park is an S$500 fine. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe like and share. Post your comments.